What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing a beer from Beachwood Brewing, and they're headquartered in Long Beach, California, and this is their Citraholic IPA. So they're calling this one a modern West Coast IPA that comes in at 7.1% alcohol by volume, 70 IBUs at the time of review, and this can is just over six weeks old. So I never thought we'd see a day where a brewery like Beachwood is showing up here in the Buffalo, New York area, but I showed up to my local bottle shop about a week ago, maybe 10 days ago, and they had two of their beers. So I grabbed this one because it was a bit fresher. They had their, what was the other one? Amalgamation, I think is the other one they had. So I picked this one just up, it was, you know, around whatever it was, five weeks old. And the other one I think was more like two months. So I just grabbed this one and the name also, Citraholic. Now for a malt, they're using American Two Row and Honey Malt and then hops, Citra, Warrior, Columbus, and Simcoe. And then they're double dry hopping this one with Citra and a touch of Columbus. They do have a little spiel here that we'll read hopefully at the end if I remember, because it talks about tasting notes and just kind of the beer in general. So anyway, let's crack this one open, get it into the glass, see what we got going on here. So really excited, Beachwood, huh? Yeah. Ooh, so it has maybe it's because the West Coast. I'm, I'm devolving into Dusty Rose, but the West Coast it had that not nice clarity, maybe you know the West Coast IPA, baby. It's not, it's not that juicy haze in New England style. Let's get settled down, baby. Anyway, so yeah, it has that nice clarity, maybe a little bit of fine particulates in there, but pretty good hate. Um, um, clarity to it. Uh, has that light, like golden straw color, slightly darker, getting almost in the orange range. Not that uh, far though. Um, has about almost a two finger of a very creamy, bright white head. Uh, yeah, maybe looks a little bit more on camera. I don't know if it's going to look a little bit more uh, hazy than it does in person because it has a little bit of like could be chill haze, a little bit of condensation too on the outside, but um, it does have a decent clarity. Like I can see my finger through it. So anyway, let's get a nose. Oh, that smells really nice. Big grapefruit, orange, lemon, huge citrus tones this one. And it's like, it has a sweet, almost candied-like aroma from that. A little bit of zestiness, pithiness, juiciness. But yeah, tons of citrus. What is that? Maybe a little bit of like a honeydew melon? Yeah, a little bit of honeydew. Maybe like a peach mango stone fruit vibe too. And then it has this nice, lightly pine kind of we'll say like a, a pine, a floral pine note. We'll just go with that. That's It's more like floral and then a piney, but not big on the pine. Floral kind of hit me too. They're using honey ball and getting a little bit of like a, excuse me, a lot of times with, you know, old school West Coast IPAs, you get like a little bit of caramel or bread from the malt. I'm getting more of like a honey, a um, little bit different. Bready and honey. Or maybe more biscuity, like a honey biscuit. Very slight though, not over the top. Yeah, it smells fucking awesome. Let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. That, my friends, is hitting the spot right now. Wow, is that refreshing. Like, real refreshing. This is really nice. Just over six weeks old, too, so it's not, like, uber fresh and I traveled across the country. This is really hitting. Body, this is, like, medium touch over. Appropriate. Mouthfeel has a nice effervescence kind of feel to it. Uh, you know, it's, it's crispy. Um, it has, you know, some dancing carbonation on the tongue. But it has a nice smooth, slightly creamy finish to it. Almost like when I reviewed like Piney, uh, Pliny the Elder and it had like that, you know, you still knew it was carbonated, had a nice carbonation, but but the the finish was so smooth and creamy and almost soft on the finish that was like kind of mind blowing. Not to that level, but kind of in that same realm, you know? The taste though, it kind of follows suit from the nose. Lots of citrus, waves of candied citrus, juicy citrus, zesty citrus, pithy citrus, the entire citrus fruit. You could go orange, grapefruit, lemon, lime, whatever. More to the orange grapefruit side for me, touch a lime or a touch of lemon in there. It hits me right at the tip of the tongue. As it passes through a little bit of that, again, that honey malt, a little bit of like a biscuity honey kind of, we'll say it's omnipresent, but it's very slight and subdued. So it's not like totally noticeable. And to be honest with you, they put honey malt on the can. So that's kind of where I'm getting that from. Middle of the palate, honeydew melon mixing with stone fruits. You could say peach, you could say mango, nectarine, apricot, whatever. And then on the second half of the palate, maybe maybe a, the last third of the palate, it has this piney floral resinous kind of hop tone. This finish is moderately bitter with a semi-dry finish. I think it actually leans a little bit more bitter, but we'll say like a 55-45 bitter to sweetness ratio. 7.1%, I can't taste it. Maybe a touch of warming in the chest, very minute. This is really nice. 
Yeah, I don't know um, what this would cost. So we'll go to we'll, we'll go to price availability after I rate it. So let me get one more sip and then I'll lock in our rating. It's so really good, like real good. All right, so Beachwood's Citraholic IPA. Um, I can't give it, I was thinking maybe a low four or five. I'm gonna go high four out of five. I'm going to go, um, yeah, high 4.25 out of five. I'll we'll go 4.35 out of five. I think this is delicious. And I did not expect that to be this good. You know, not that this is super old or anything, just over six weeks. It's just, again, travel across the country. Um, and a lot of times I get beers like this that, you know, people thought of uh, highly in, the, in you know, yesteryear. And um, yeah, this is just really good. So I'm excited. So let's read the spiel. Then we'll do price and availability. It says, Hopheads Rejoice. Citraholic is a modern West Coast style IPA with a distinct tropical character. We dry hop Citraholic with an immense charge of citra hops, imparting heavy aromas of citrus and tropical fruits with melon, yes, and gooseberry accents. Didn't get the gooseberry. Um, yeah, price and availability. I paid five bucks for that can, so it was like I think it was I think they paid just over five. It was like five nineteen or something, and I think four packs were twenty bucks. That's here in Buffalo, New York, across the country. So if anybody lives near Beachwood or can get this locally in California or anywhere else, what did you pay for it? I would expect something at 7.1 being like 16 to 18 out of realm, but even if it was 20 bucks, I'd easily pay that. It's a 4.35 out of five. And availability, I have no idea. I know we should see them here in Buffalo, New York. So if you watch this review, post in comment section, let me know if you've had this one before. And if you had, how much you paid for it, where you're located, and uh, the general vicinity where you're located, and uh, yeah, what you thought about it. because. This is really fucking good for like a modern, this this to me has that modern kind of like North Park. I just did a Fidens. I don't know if you'll see this before, uh, the Fidens uh, West Coast Palel that I did with um, Dan over at FLX and Jesse over at Bumpy Road Brews. But that again had like that modern kind of West Coast um, feel to it as far as a hop forward beer goes. And that's kind of what I'm getting here. It has a nice essence of the old school, marriage with the new school. And I like it. So 4.3 out of 5 out of 5. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Four, oh yeah, 7.1% I already said. Get a little warming in the chest right now as I'm talking to you, but nothing on the panel, so fantastic. Anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Till the next one. Cheers.